Welcome back to uh, Demo Mondays. Demo Mondays is a video series where we talk to different software creators who are creating products for Amazon sellers. And I ask them to present their products just like this on the screen. And today my guest is Seller Metrics. And Seller Metrics is presented by Perola Rost. Hello, Perola. Hi, Augustas. Thank you for having me on Demo Mondays. Cool. So please tell us what is Seller Metrics and how does it help Amazon sellers? So Seller Metrics is an analytical tool for Amazon sellers. Uh, we help our users understand how well they are doing on Amazon by calculating their profit and other important metrics like ROI, profit margin, or if you're struggling, Seller Metrics can help you understand why or where you are leaking money. And uh, another big thing with Seller Metrics is that we report sales data in real time so that you will be able to see straight away when you sold a product. Oh, that's good. That's nice. And uh, your target users, I assume any kind of Amazon sellers, right? Yeah, uh, you will need a professional Seller Central account uh, to be able to sign up. Most sellers do, uh, but then it doesn't matter if you're big or small or you do FBA or FBM. Uh, we cater to uh, any Amazon seller and anyone will be able to get the benefits from using Seller Metrics. Cool. I think I have uh, all questions answered and uh, let's check how Seller Metrics looks inside. Okay, so now we are looking at the Seller Metrics dashboard. When you sign up, you connect your Amazon Seller Central account, which allows us to import your sales data to Seller Metrics. And after some time to import it, you will see something like this. We will go through some of the main features together to give you an idea of how you can use the software. So one of the most popular ways to use Seller Metrics is checking your daily sales and profit. You can select today's date with the date picker here in the top right corner. And as you probably know, the sales data in Amazon Seller Central is delayed by about one to two days because Amazon only really counts a sale after the order is shipped, which can take one to two days. In Seller Metrics, we have developed an algorithm that estimates your sales and profit in real time so you can instantly see uh, your orders as they are coming in. In this case, we can see that 28 units have been sold with a $120 net profit. And you can also scroll down to see exactly which products were sold here. There is also a Seller Metrics mobile app for iOS and Android, so you can check your sales and profit wherever you are with your phone. Okay, so in the top left corner, we see this US flag, which means that we're looking at our sales data in the US. So if you're selling in multiple marketplaces, like Germany and Spain, you can switch uh, easily between them. There's also a global dashboard where you can see your total global Amazon sales and profit. By default, the values in the global dashboard is shown in US dollars, but you can change this to see it in Euro, for example, or I think we support most of the big currencies in the world and we can easily add more on demand. But in this example, we will continue to look at the US. I should also mention that we support all Amazon marketplaces. So USA, Canada, Mexico, all European Amazon marketplaces, so Germany, Spain, France, Italy, UK, and also Japan, India, Australia, and Singapore. Then moving over to the right side, we have the date picker, and we can see that October 15th is selected. This means that the data in the dashboard will be limited to this day. But you can, of course, change it to any date range you want, for example, like this, August 2019. Okay, so these cards here are the summary for your selection. So in this case, your US sales in August 2019, $24,000 in sales, and here's your net profit. And you can click the I to see exactly how the net profit is calculated. So how much discounts were given out, the refunds, ad spend, Amazon fees, taxes, and so on. Under orders, you have how many orders were sold organically and how many were generated through Amazon Advertising or PPC. Under units, you can see how many were full priced units and how many were sold at a discount or at a promotion. In the graph, you can see how your products have performed over time. 
Now we are looking at sales here in orange, but you can change to display any parameter, uh, for example, net profit, orders, units, ad spend, and so on, and see how it changed over time. You can also uh, select a secondary uh, metric to display in the graph, and we will look at that a little bit later. On the right side, you see daily. This means that each data point in the graph is one day. Uh, if we're looking at a very large uh, date range, it can be very uh, difficult to spot trends using the daily setting. So if I select this year, you can see that the sales fluctuate up and down quite a lot. So if I change from daily to monthly, you will see that we get a much smoother graph that is much easier to interpret and determine uh, which months were good and which months were not. This last data point is very partial, it's just a few days. So what I will do is I will select January 1st to October 31st. So this will get rid of that last data point. Okay. Um, let's look at this graph and see if we can say anything about it. So earlier this year we saw 26, 29, 20, yeah, $30,000. And since May, we've seen this slow downward trajectory. So down to 26, 24, 19, and even $17,700 in October 2019. So there is this negative trend. And later in this demo, we will use seller metrics to try to understand why we have this trend and uh, see what we can do about it. Uh, but let's continue to go through the main features first. Below the graph, you have your notes. And uh, here you can write down certain events or mark the changes you make to your products. For example, changing the product images, the price, and so on. So we can expand it and we can see that for this product on September 3rd, we lowered the price. We, we went out of stock for the foam roller and then back in stock again here. And you can tag your notes to specific products, brands, or marketplaces if you want to tag a specific Holiday in Germany, for example, you can do that. Okay. Uh, one more thing I want to say about the notes is that they can actually be really good to explain why you see certain trends. Uh, a trend can be an effect of an action that the seller took or some other event that happened. And the notes can help you keep track of that and follow up on it. Um, okay. The next thing is the product list. Uh, here you can see how each product is performing individually. So you can see the sales, orders, ad spend, refunds, net profit for each order individually. Here's your inventory, if it's FBA or FBM. And you can also press the I here, like we did in the summary, to see a detailed breakdown for each product individually. What we see for this account is that it's dominated by these two products here, the foam roller and the headphones. Scrolling back up to the top, we see that $245,000 in sales were made up by these two products at about $220,000. So these two products dominate. If we go back to this negative trend that we saw earlier, it's very likely that one or both of these two products are involved. So what we're going to do now is look closer at them to see if we can better understand what has gone wrong so we can take action to resolve that. So in the header, we can search and select a specific product. Let's start by selecting the foam roller. So I can search for foam here and we get some results. We get the brand fit foam and also a travel pillow and the foam roller. And we can make multiple selections like this if you want to analyze multiple products or if you want to analyze all of your organic products or all of your um, uh, products belonging to a certain employee and so on. But in this case, we want to select only the foam rollers. We select it and click Accept. And what we see in the graph is that it performed pretty consistently throughout the year with a dip here in September. Down to 11,000 from 15, 16,000 in sales. Looking at the notes, we can see if we can understand why. And we can see that we went out of stock here in September 20th. So a third of the month we had no sales, most likely. And then back in stock on October 1st. So that would explain why we see this dip. And we have rebounded pretty nicely here in October back to 
$13,700 in sales. Not quite the levels we saw before, but still quite good. Okay, so going back to the trend again that we saw earlier, I wouldn't say that this product has anything to do with it other than this dip. I don't see a downward negative trend. So we're going to look at the headphones now and we clear the previous selections and we make a new selections by searching for headphones. We select them and click accept. And here we can much more clearly see this uh, negative trend uh, from a peak at $13,700 down to nine, seven, three thousand two hundred dollars in October. So here we really see this trend. So this has everything to do with what we saw on the account as a whole. The next step would be to go to Amazon.com and see what our competitors are doing. Maybe our price is too high compared to them, or maybe our main image does not stand out as much as it used to. Try to look for something that could be wrong. And using the notes again, we can see if we made any changes throughout the year. And we can see here that we dropped in April to four stars average review rating. And we played around with the price in July and in August we bumped back up, bumped back up to four and a half star average review rating again. But in April is where we started to see this negative trend. So it could have something to do with us dropping in average review rating, starting to lose conversion rates, starting to lose ranking, and slowly but surely uh, we ranking now on page two, three, four, and we're not seeing the sales that we used to. Uh, we bump back up to four and a half star average, but it's possible that we haven't regained our previous ranking. So what we could do is look at running a promotion. I can see here that we haven't run any promotion this year for this product. Not a single unit has been sold at a promotion. So that could be one thing we could do. We could also look at increasing the ad spend temporarily or use a launch service or something like this. Okay, so now we've seen how you can use Sellometrics to get an overview of your sales and profit on Amazon and also how you can look for trends and spot underperforming products. If you have a bigger account with more products, this could take longer time, but the principles are the same and it's incredibly useful. Now, let me show you some other features in Sellometrics. So, so far we've only been looking at the dashboard, but you can change to the product section here where all of your products are listed. And this is where you can set up the costs of your product. And you can set it manually like this, or you can bulk upload it uh, with a CSV file here. Cost of goods is what you buy the product for. Inbound shipping is the cost of shipping from your factory to the Amazon warehouse or to your own warehouse, if you do FBM. And FBM shipping is the shipping from your own warehouse, if you do FBM, directed to the customer, this is the, the shipping cost for that. Scrolling to the right we can see the profit for each product and the margin. And we can click on the column to arrange it. And we can do that to isolate, for example, products with a particularly low profit margin, like this. Uh, that could be a cue for us to maybe raise the price or renegotiate the, the purchase price from the producer or the supplier. Okay, um, after getting access to your Sellometrics account, setting up your product costs is probably one of the first things you will want to do, as it's the only way to get an accurate profit calculation in the dashboard that we saw earlier. Okay, then we can switch over to the order section, and here you can see each order, the status, if it's shipped, pending, cancelled, refunded, and so on, and also uh, the amount, so the detailed breakdown for each product individually and you can also download this these orders uh, as a CSV file. Quantity here uh, is the um, number of units sold for each order and you can press this column to arrange it like this and you can see if your customers are buying multiple products per order or if they just buy one unit per order. If you're selling in Europe you can switch here to VAT section to set up your VAT. The VAT can have a pretty big impact on your bottom line, so it's important to set this up if you're selling in Europe. There's one last thing I want to show you, which is if we go back to the dashboard and scroll down, 
to the product list, you can right click to download product data. This will generate a CSV file for you with all of the data that you see here, the orders, organic PPC, ad spend refunds, and so on. This gives you the flexibility to prepare your own custom reports as you wish or sync with other software. So that wraps up the demo for Cellmetrics. Thank you so much for listening. All right, thank you very much. Uh, your, I like your design, it's very clean and tidy. Everything is very clear. I like when the everything numbers are baked, uh, written and so on. So can you tell us a little bit um, what uh, features in the future you are planning to release for your existing customers? Sure, uh, we are working on a few different things. Um, right now we are making a refund section where you can easily find the orders where Amazon owes your money. So you can reach out to Amazon and, and claim it back. And we're almost done with a solution that can show you how many clicks you are getting to your Amazon product listings. So from that, you can see your conversion rate. So if you're having a product that is not doing so well, you can see if the problems uh, is because customers are not coming to your product listing or if they are coming but not converting. Okay. And uh, can you tell us the pricing? How does it, um, how do you, does it adjust according to the orders or according to marketplaces? Sure. Um, I can do that. Um, so Cellometrics, we charge based on orders each month. So for very small sellers, we have a forever free plan. So up to 100 orders a month, you pay nothing for Cellometrics. Or if you are a seller that is having a really bad month or you're stocking out, for orders below or for months below 100 orders, uh, it's free, completely free. Between 100 and 2,500 orders, it's $15 a month. And then it scales up to $35 a month, up to 5,000 orders. Then you're selling above 150 units a day or 150 orders a day. And enterprise users, uh, up to 10,000 orders, they pay $85 uh, a month. And there's no extra fee for connecting additional um, Seller Central account. You can connect as many as you want from all over the world. Ah, that's a good deal. Usually as other companies try to, they ask for extra money when you connect to a different marketplace. That's a good feature you have. <laughs> deal. Uh, and... Um, can you tell us a little bit about support? How does it work? I saw on your website there is a bubble, chat bubble, right? So is it instant support or people have to wait a few hours? Uh, we try to make it instant, but sometimes we have to sleep and eat. <laughs> but usually within an hour, you will have a response. So you can uh, open that chat to uh, write to us, or you can also send us an email to support at cellometrics.com and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Great. And the final question, do you have any offer for Demo Monday's viewers? We do. Um, it's uh, an extended free trial. So anyone trying Cellometrics gets one month for free. Uh, but with Demo Mondays, uh, you will be able to get two months free trial. So we will add a link to the video. Uh, you can also write to us using the uh, chat and just write Demo Mondays and we'll manually extend it for you. Ah, cool. So yeah, people who want to an extended trial for seller metrics, just follow the links below this video. And thank you very much, Perola, for this introduction to your tool. I think it's quite new, but it looks promising. I really <laughs> give compliments for the design. And thank you very much and good luck in your business. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Augusta. See you. Bye-bye.